lights, camera, action. Hey guys, it's Sandy Missouri from Balloon Utopia and Market with Balloons. And today I'm gonna show you how to make a really fun Hollywood themed photo frame. This is great for all your Hollywood parties, your red carpet events, and people love to get in these and take pictures. So it's a really great way to encourage people to take their pictures together and also get those pictures out on social media. So sit back, relax, and here we go. To make this, we're gonna use some of these uh, expert speed techniques. So as you see here, I've already got the garland ready to go and just to put it on. So it gets put together, boom, boom, boom. But just in case this is the first video of mine that you're seeing, first of all, welcome, thank you. And second of all, let me show you how to make this garland. So I'm not actually doing it in the pattern here. I'm just showing you the mechanics of it and then we'll talk about the pattern in a moment. But basically what I have here is I have two 260s. Those are the, uh, you know, the animal balloons, the long skinny balloons that you use for hats and stuff like that. And I've tied two of them together. I'm not necessarily gonna need the entire length of all two, but it gives me just more to hold and more grip. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna kinda wrap it around one of the quads like that. Okay, and we are using five inch balloons and they're actually inflated to about a full five inch, okay? So we're pretty much using the full balloon here. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, <laughs> gonna swing it around wildly. No, I'm gonna coil it in my hand and I'm gonna give it a good tension and you'll know it's a good tension if you can uh, hear it, if you can play the guitar on it. All right? And so then all we're gonna do is put it down on the ground so that you have a counter pressure, lay your next quad on it, find its happy place, give it a good stretch so it'll be nice and tight, and figure eight. Okay, and then, so we're just gonna do that again, all right? Like that, and figure eight. So that's it, that's how we're getting these garlands. And the pattern, as you see here, is we've got one black, three white, one black, three white. What we wanna make is something kind of approximating a film strip. So obviously a film strip would regularly have, you know, around the edges and everything like that, but we're just going for the feel of it. And I know that you guys are creative and are gonna come up with all kinds of ways to use it and customize it. I just kinda wanna give you the basics, a starting point for you to then embellish on your own. All right, so let's get rid of this. Now, let's talk about what else we got going on here. So this is our frame, and for our frame, what we have is we've got a piece of PVC. So this is half inch PVC, and you can get it at any hardware store. It usually comes in 10 foot lengths, um, and we cut it in half. Okay, and then we've got some T connectors right here and you can see that we've taped it a lot. And here we've got some elbow connectors. So that's basically it. And we are using for this frame, we are using our lamp base, uh, lamp pole base. And we've got one, two, I think we've got six poles on it. Um, so it's more than one lamp kit, but then it also depends on which one you're using. Now, something that I will caution you, this is not stable for outside, okay? It's fine for indoors and it's not gonna be knocked around a lot. But if you're worried about it being really a uh, high traffic or something like that, I would definitely go with the more stable base plates and poles. Um, and so then you're gonna wanna check out my how to make a balloon column frame video to learn how to make that. Uh, and then you would wanna move up to a three quarter inch PVC because it would be on a half inch pole. Now for this particular design, we are not putting balloons up the bottom of the legs. We're gonna just leave those naked. Uh, because we want them to fade in. We really want to call attention to the film strip part and not uh, call too much attention to down there. Okay, so to start with, all we're gonna do is just take our garland and just uh, fit it on. So essentially, we're just gonna kinda open it up and, and kinda massage it on, just like this. Now you could also do it that you're twisting each quad actually onto the pole. Um, I just find that it's easier and faster to do it this way. So this is the way that I've been doing it uh, in order to transport it to events and make it nice and easy. Okay, so right now it's kind of on, it's on the pole, but it's not secured. So you could secure it in a variety of ways. 
you could either find where it's connecting and twist the balloons around each other, or you could just take a piece of a 260 and a feather, a piece of a 260, and you know, just go in and tie it around the pole, making sure that you are getting that string into the tie. Okay, so you could do it either way like that. And I'm not gonna worry too much about making this really secure since we're just making it for the video and not for an event where it's gonna be used. So for this one, I'm actually gonna go ahead and do the top pieces first, and then I'm gonna do the side pieces. Um, and here is where I confront my own uh, shortness. And I cannot stress to you enough how important it is to tape, to over tape it even more than you think necessary. So you can see this just kinda goes on just like that. La di da, la di da. Boom, ba boom, ba boom. Ba boom, all right. And I'm gonna show you over here in the corner what we're gonna do is uh, we'll just kind of add a little extra black cluster there to kind of make it all come together nicely. There. And now we're going to do this here. And now you'll see, we're going to need to cover the mechanics here. So we're going to do that afterwards. Zippity doo da, zippity. Yep, we are gonna need a couple more blacks there. And where I've got the hanging strings like this, I'm just gonna kinda spiral it around a little bit figure eight it and that will also lock in this piece. And I'm just gonna do the same thing over here. So that's why I don't cut off the, the strings until, until the end because sometimes they can be really useful to tie things onto or to figure eight it. Now, I will say that if you are doing this uh, outdoors, you definitely wanna have everything much more stable and tied on than if it's indoors for obvious reasons. All right, now let's fix our corners here. So sometimes for the corners, it's easier to do it in duplets than in quads. Okay, because that just kind of helps you get in there. And sometimes even you might just tie it on without, without necessarily like trying to stuff it in the corner. Okay. And I think we will put a little quad right there. Now, very often when you're doing these things, you're, you're gonna kind of put something and then you're gonna need to step back and look and say, oh, okay, I need something here, I need this, I need that. And um, <laughs> that for me is the biggest challenge in making these videos is that I'm trying to do it to the camera whereas normally I'd be doing it like this. So, all right, and the same thing on this side, we're gonna add first a duplet kind of up in that corner and then we're gonna add the quad. I need more here. And this quad, I'm just gonna tie it in right there. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm just gonna find the nozzle of one of the balloons and just tie it to a nozzle of the quad I'm trying to place. Okay, we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side here.
Okay, and like I said, normally I would go through and I would really um, tie this all down to make sure it's real stable um, and really onto those poles and everything. Now, if you have little gaps or whatever, I wouldn't worry about it too much because this is just the base frame. We are not done. You want to embellish it. And I'm going fairly simple on my embellishments today because again, I just want to give you the idea. And in terms of what you use to embellish it, be creative. Whatever you find, you can also uh, download different pictures um, off of you know Etsy or, or things like that. So I've just gone and I got a mylar balloon here and I'm just gonna glue it right there. And so that's just kinda gonna set the scene, so to speak, no pun intended. Okay, and here's the important thing. When you're gluing the, the balloons to the frame, you just wanna make sure that you don't, you don't wanna put the sticky tabs on it first and then try to place it. You wanna try first of all to figure out where it actually touches and connects and then place it. So, yeah, like right there I think is good. And I've got these little sticky tab things. So you see I'm just, I'm finding out first where it connects and then putting a little sticky tab and peeling the back off and then sticking it down. And it doesn't take that many. I would say that two or three is sufficient just, uh, just to make sure. So one more little tip about these sticky tabs is that they do better when they're warm. So I often keep them in my pocket so that I'll get them to body temperature before uh, trying to use them. So now, got these gold stars here and I just got these at the party store. Um, you could use balloon stars. Um, originally I was thinking to use balloon stars but then Honestly, I was just being lazy. <laughs> so I went ahead and just bought the cardboard ones. And the same thing, just like, yeah, right about there, that looks good, right? So, so as you embellish it, the elements that you add are a great way to hide any mechanics or holes or other flaws that you might have in it. Okay, so there we go. We've added some stars. You know, it, you can also embellish it with the little small uh, balloon letters. So if you wanted to put the name of the event or the host or um, the guest of honor or the company or whatever, you could. So there's a million ways that you can embellish the frame to really bring in those thematic elements. So there you go. I hope you like the Hollywood selfie station frame. Ta-da! <laughs> As I knock it down. <laughs> And um, yeah, if you like this, make sure to give me some love, give me a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, tell everybody you know to subscribe, uh, and leave me a comment, tell me what else you wanna learn. What else, what other things do you guys wanna learn and what do you want me to show you? So until next time, go forth and balloonify.